Hi, what's up guys? It's me again, Chunji from Caesar Graphics. And um, in today's tutorial, I'm going to be teaching you how to create lines, line patterns like the way I have it here on this artwork. So I'm going to be teaching you how to apply it to a background like this and also to uh, put it in a shape like the way I have it on this artwork here. So um, let's quickly jump in. All right. Okay, so um, the first thing we're going to do now is to, um, to create our pattern. We need to have a new document. We have to create a new document. And um, to do that, I'm going to say, I'm going to make my width 5. I'm sure you all know how to get to this stage. So I'm going to hit 5 width and then 5 height. Then I'll make my resolution 300 because um, making it 72 may not really work when I increase the size of my stroke in um, project with large frame size do you get so but don't worry if you don't understand what i'm saying now when we get to the part where we're increasing the size of um a stroke you understand what i'm saying better so i have five by five um frame size 300 resolution perfect and i'm going to change this to transparent uh, transparent 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 all right um i'm using the latest version of um, photoshop cc so there's no transparent there so i'm just going to say okay Alright, so this is it. So I'm going to zoom in by holding control space bar. Alright, I'm zoomed in. And uh, I'm going to create a new layer by clicking on this icon right here. And I'll call this lines or stroke, whichever name you think is better for you. So I'm going to delete this because I don't want to. No, let me leave it for now. And um, the next thing I'm going to do is to click on this icon right here. It's called the pen tool. And I'll make my first click here. And I'm gonna make my second click right here. And um, the next thing I'll do is to go to my brush tool. Under my brush tool, I have the pencil tool. Okay, it's on one. So if yours is not on one, make sure you have one as the size of your brush. And I am going to go back to my pen tool again, which is this tool. So I'll right click on the part. Now, I almost, I almost made a mistake here make sure you are not on the background layer make sure you're on the layer that you just created so i'm going to right click and i'll say stroke and i'll change this to pencil i'll say okay now nothing happened now the reason why it's like that is because my um foreground color is set to white i want it to be black not white so i'm going to hit x on my keyboard and i'll hit ctrl z to go back so i'm going to right click again and it says stroke and I'll choose pencil and I'll say okay so I have this alright so the next thing I'm going to do is to drag this and delete this and I'll hit enter on my keyboard to remove the part I just created I created to achieve this and I'll go to edit select define pattern and I'll call this um, let me call it my name I'll call it CG with the scissor graphics and I'll call it line I'll say okay all right now it's time for us to start adding into our artwork so i'm going to first add it to this one right here and i'll delete this that's the one i created before so i'm creating a new one now so to create a new one what i'll just do is i'll click on this icon right here and i'll say pattern bam so this is the one i just created so i'm going to hit okay so as you can see it's on my screen and um, let me quickly explain the part the part I was telling you about increasing the size of the stroke and then re reducing the size of the stroke because it depends you know the size of the stroke matters when you're doing different size different frame of um, artwork so I'm gonna double click here and um, to increase the scale it's called I've been calling size to the scale all right so in to increase the scale I'll click on this icon right here and it notice when I do something here if I drag this this side you see my brush my lines get bigger but for this kind of pro this kind of project i don't want it to be too big i want it to be 100 percent then you get the idea so i'll click ok don't tamper with any of the settings there so i'll click ok now just in case you have other brush that you create there yeah, you you know you follow the same concept i did like create new create new brushes to change to the brushes that you created you can click on this icon here and then you know um select brushes of your choice here these are the ones i have done and i'm not going to touch any of them <laughs> all right so okay let me just quickly show you one other one i have this one here so yeah still the same way i created the other one this one here that's the same way i did all these ones 
but for now i'm not going into this i'll just click on this and i'll click ok ah now it's affecting my text right here well it's my world i'm the one doing the design so i have the right to make decision on what i want so before this one um i don't want this part i don't want the um, lines to affect this part of my um, artwork so to do that i'll make sure this is set to black and then i'll go to my brush tool brush right here click on brush 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 now good all right i have sweet brush here that i can use so i'm going to click on this pull up this make sure you are on the white box all right when you're doing this and i'll increase the size of my brush now i'm trying not to i don't want it to affect this part then i'll increase it to this size i'm using my square bracket tool on my keyboard to increase the size of my brush and i'll click and i'll increase it again and i'll click yeah i like it this way yeah, this looks nice all right so um let's go to the next um part of this tutorial which is applying it to shapes okay now um um these are just artwork i quickly you know i actually did because of this um uh, uh, this tutorial so please don't mind me if my talk is not looking unique to you just take it the way it is i actually did it because of this tutorial okay so i have this shape right here that i want to apply the stroke to to apply the lines to so i'm going to delete this again all right so the next thing i'm going to do now is to do the same thing we did on the previous um, artwork by um clicking on the part where we want the lines to stay so i'll click on this icon and i'll select pattern again and i am going to say 100 is fine for me now i don't want it behind the circle i want it on the top of the circle so i'll drag it here now it's covering my artwork it's covering my it's covering the entire background and i don't want that some of you may like it but for me i don't all right so what i'm going to do now is i am going to click on this icon right here with my whole with my control key held down so i'll click all right and i have that part selected okay so um i'm not going to click on this box right here i'm going to click on this box again like we did in a previous video and i am going to click on my alt backspace Bam. no that's not what i want to do so i'll hit um i'll hit um Control shift i to inverse or go to select and click on um, inverse right here so it's selecting the other side of the um, artwork and i will eat keyboard and i'll hit ctrl d to deselect the uh, marquee selection on my screen and um, this is it so i always forget to say this remember to always click on the subscribe button to subscribe for my channel so that when i post new videos you can see them okay i believe you all learned something here and um i'll see you in my next tutorial bye